Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Yuma Shack. Today we have some more brand new LEGO leaks for 2022. So if you're going to enjoy the video then, I always appreciate a like and subscription as well. But with that being said, let's begin. So we have quite a lot to go through in today's video, so let's dive right into it. So first off, we're going to quickly go over the first details for the LEGO Harry Potter uh, Summer 2022 wave. Uh, so we have all of the set numbers as well as the prices as well. So we've got set number 76400 for $20, 76401 for $50, 76402 for $80, 76403 for $100, 76404 for $45, 76405 for $470, which is rumored to be the Gringotts uh, set. And then we've got set number 76406. Uh, for $50, 76407 for $90, and then 76408 for $120. So quite interesting, the uh, price ranges. I think the most interesting one is definitely the DTC set, but we're going to have to wait for more information on the others. Next up, we have set number 76989, and this is the Horizon Zero Dawn tall neck, uh, which will be releasing May 1st. And it will be retailing for a price of $80, which is pretty expensive, but I think it will be a pretty interesting set. And then next up, we have the brand new LEGO Sonic set that has been officially revealed by LEGO. Um, overall, I think it's a really good looking set. Definitely will buy it, um, mainly for the Sonic minifigure. I know that it's not exactly the same as the original idea submission. I think some parts are worse. So for example, the build for Eggman, I don't think he looks very good, but everything else looks quite nice. I really like the crab meat build. And also the course is really nice as well. Um, and obviously the Sonic minifigure is a nice addition. Next up, we have a brand new Lego set that has been revealed as well, which is set number 40491. And this is the buildable tiger, which is recommended for ages eight and over. You don't get any minifigures in the set, it's just a buildable tiger. Overall, I think it looks quite nice. Um, I think that it's definitely got a lot of detail with the stripes and everything for the fur. Um, and overall, I do quite like the shaping as well. And I really like how they've used a lot of cheese slot pieces as well to sort of represent the whiskers and the fur sticking out from the top of its head. So really impressed with all of that. And also the shaping of the mouth looks really nice as well. It does use a lot of really nice small tiles to get the extra details, which I really like in the shape. And then next up, we have a brand new Lego Frozen poly bag, which is from Frozen 2, which has been revealed. And, you know, it's okay. Um, it is quite uh, good for parts and such. However, the Elsa minifigure isn't exclusive or anything, which is quite unfortunate. And then next up, we have a brand new Lego Harry Potter book that has been revealed. And this actually comes with a brand new Percy minifigure, which I think is really cool. It looks really, really good. And I'm really happy to have that. And then we also have a bunch of other lego books as well that have been revealed so we've got harry potter one a star wars one a city one as well as a dc one so the harry potter one um does come with the same harry potter minifigure that came in the diagon alley set um as well as the advent calendar so that figure is no longer exclusive and then you've got the Han solo which appeared in the ucs falcon as well as the um, 20th anniversary slave one and then you've got the batgirl minifigure which is quite common um and then next we have a look at a gift with purchase set and this is actually for the new lego modular boutique hotel set and essentially it's just a box with uh, some cards in it um and then next up we have a brand new lego marvel set that has been revealed uh, we don't have the pictures of it yet however we have all the information that we need um and it is set number 76219 and it's labeled ant-man um, and it will be retailing for twenty dollars now, this uh, rumor did come out a few days ago, um, and I think a lot of people have already heard it by now. However, uh, we do have some new information now as to what it actually is going to be. So, uh, it is going to be a mech bowl set. Uh, Lego did make one of these for Spider-Man and Doc Ock, um, and essentially they gave them both a mech. However, this one is going to be Ant-Man, and he's going to have a buildable mech, and it's going to be versus Ultron, which I think is really uh, cool, and they are both apparently going to be based off their comic book versions. Next up, we have another new LEGO gift with purchase that has been revealed, and it is set number 40528, um, and this is the buildable LEGO store modular set, um, and it is recommended for ages 10 and over. And it will be a gift with purchase starting from January the 1st, and it's while stocks last. And in order to get this, you need to spend $120 or more on Lego, and you can buy any Lego sets you want. Um, so in the UK, that would be £120. 
Um, overall, it looks really, really good. I think this is probably one of the best modulars um, to this scale we've ever had and definitely one of the best gift with purchases as well. I think it looks really good and, you know, I think that this would be a really nice thing to integrate into a LEGO City um, and definitely going to be trying to get this myself. So I think that's a really good value there for what you're getting. And then next up, we have some new information on two new LEGO Star Wars sets that we'll be releasing for May 2022. So the first one is set number 75339. And then the second one is set number 75342, retailing for uh, $90 $40. And this information is coming from Stonewall, so thanks to them. As for what these sets are going to be, we know what the uh, $90 set is going to be. This is going to be a trash compactor set, and it will be one of those diorama sets. So, for example, like the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber, it will be a similar build uh, to that. So you will have the display stand, which will be black, and then you'll have the scene of the trash compactor scene uh, from episode four. Um, and then the second set, we don't know what that is going to be yet. It's not confirmed or anything. However, rumor has it that it could potentially be another land speeder, which I hope it's not. Um, however, that's what a lot of people are sort of suggesting at the moment. Um so we're just going to have to wait and see for that and wait for more information on these sets. Um, but we definitely know that the $90 set is going to be a trash compactor. Overall, quite excited to see how that's going to be. We never had a set based on the trash compactor itself. Uh, we've only seen the trash compactor in the Death Star set. And, you know, a lot of people aren't going to have that because it is quite big and expensive. Um, and, you know, the trash compactor in that set isn't exactly massive. So it's going to be really cool to see how Lego are going to take this $90 and they're going to make a massive trash compactor. So really excited to see how that works and hopefully it does have quite a few uh, play functions as well. I hope that the doors and everything are able to close and the trash compactor is actually supposed to move in, for example, how it does in the Death Star set. And then next up, we have a brand new Lego Ninjago Legacy magazine uh, that has actually been revealed. Um, and this is a new one and you get two minifigures in the set, which I think is quite a good deal uh, for a Lego magazine, um, two pretty nice detailed minifigures. So I think that's really, really cool. And then the last thing that I want to quickly go over is actually um, the new Lego Idea Sonic set. I did talk about this earlier, uh, but a quick thing that I want to say is that you can actually buy multiple of these and connect them up. There are Technic pins, um, but Lego did reveal an official picture where you buy multiple of these Lego Sonic sets and you can connect them up and make one massive course. So I think that's really cool. And I definitely think that Lego will be making expansions for this in the future, hopefully with other characters such as Tails and Knuckles and such. But there we go, everyone. With that being said, this is the end of the video. If they did enjoy it, then I would always appreciate a like and subscription as well. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all of these new Lego leaks for 2022. Are you excited or not? I'll talk to you guys soon. So peace out. See you later and bye-bye.